Hey there guys, Aaron here down in uh, Jackson County uh, on Lost Lake Stewart State Park. And here at the uh, Cascade Civil War Society uh, Civil War reenactment and everyone's all uh, dressed up in character and all that and so should have some fun with that, go around and talk with some people. CD of Civil War music, you all welcome to come up and get your own copy. Yeah, it's good. It's good. For 15 Yankee dollars. Believe it. Okay, what is it? This is the uh the Maryland first line encampment. Poor Maryland. Hey, sir, just wondering what uh, you're fighting for today with the Confederacy. Well, there's one simple, very direct answer. I'm fighting to keep invaders from taking over my home. The Yankee Army has entered the southern states illegally to enforce their despotism upon us and force us to live the way they think we should live and we think we have the right to live the way we want to live. And when a man attacks your home, you defend it. And that's it. That's it. What, what do you say about, uh, I, I've noticed there's a, a guy named uh, Karl Marx working for the uh, British and they're putting out propaganda. It's all about slavery. <laughs> well, slavery is a serious issue. I personally do not own any slaves, nor do I think slavery is a very proper institution. If there's an issue of inferiority between the races, I'd say it's because of the way they've been treated, not because of the way they are tell you frankly that in my home county that's a minority opinion. But that's not why we're fighting. I'd hope there was a proposal in the Confederate Congress to manumit slaves and then declare independence. Unfortunately it was rejected. There still moves afoot to allow slaves to earn their freedom by taking arms to defend the Confederacy, which many are willing to do. It is their home as well. I hope that comes to pass, but well, politicians are politicians. Are you uh, concerned about the uh, the taxes at all right now? The uh, what do they call the Morrill Tariff? Or well, it doesn't in fact affect us at the current time as we are no longer part of the United States. Of America. Uh, okay, all right. And uh, Fort Sumter, that is a Confederate, that is a Confederate fort. Is that right? It is now. <laughs> we took it from the Yankees when they tried to maintain their presence on our soil, and they were expelled. All now right. the Yankees have tried to take it back, but we have beaten them back on every occasion. 
Alright guys, now that I checked out the uh, Confederate camp and seen what they're up to, let's go check out the, uh, the Union camp here and uh, see what they're fighting for. Is there a specific name for this uh, tent or? Oh, uh, yes there is. What we have here is something called a wall tent. The wall tent was commonly used by the officers um, and people of ranks of the such and commonly used by the civilians. It has a lot of leg room, a lot of uh, standing room compared to the A tents or uh, perhaps some of the dog tents. And uh, so this A tents like those um, Commonly would be housing a sergeant, perhaps even a corporal if he was lucky enough. The Union was fighting for preserving the Union. Um, a house divided cannot stand, and that's what Lincoln said. So, basically, slavery was not the main issue with the Union until after Antietam. January 1st of 1863 when the proclamation emancipation emancipation proclamation came around and freed the slaves then the issue of slavery actually came to the forefront in the union union army a lot of the men fighting didn't want to fight for slavery at that time, they didn't think that the war was about that. They, they thought that the war was about keeping the United States of America one country. And that's basically what the Union was fighting for at the time. Might have been live ammo over there. <laughs> 